Hello guys, I'm Dr. Bass, and today we'll talk about uh, current sensing, uh, panel meter, the analog one, and how to calibrate these. Alright, so sometime for your project you might have uh, old analog uh, panel meter with a needle like that, and uh, that does not necessarily correspond to the range that you're uh, wanting for your uh, new project. So what I mean is that uh, if you had a project with a uh, 250 amp uh, display and you want to have a lower value, um, you need some time to buy a new meter, which is uh, something that uh, it's not necessarily, and I will explain to you today how to modify these if it's possible. So let me explain first. Uh, when you buy a meter like that, um, what you will notice is there's the entire range here, so this one is go for uh, it's good for up to 250 amp. What you will also notice is this little uh, writing here, which is FS and uh, 50 millivolt DC, which means that this meter will need 50 millivolt of voltage across these two pins here in order to get the needle to reach the 250 amp. So what what is mean is that when you apply 50 millivolt, the needle will go to 250 amp. When you apply half of that, 25 millivolt, it will go to about 125 uh, amp reading. So those millivolt come from somewhere, and they come from what is called a shunt. So a shunt is in fact a kind of a resistor. So that is a calibrated precision resistor normally that uh, you will uh, connect in series with uh, your circuit and um, it, it will create a voltage drop. So when there's a given current, um, this kind of resistance here will uh, have a voltage drop because it's not a perfect conductor, there's a resistance. But this resistance is, um, is made specially to uh, get a precise voltage drop. So for example, this one here, you see it's a 200 amp, 50 millivolt. So what I will need is a meter with 200 amp on the maximum reading and a 50 millivolt. So I could not use this one because if I apply 50 millivolt to this one, which correspond to the 200 amp of this one, it will uh, reach uh, 250 amp, which does not correspond. So you need to tune it. And that is what I made. So I've recovered a, a, a couple of uh, these meters that I had in the past. This one was a modified <laughs> 300 amp, uh, 50 millivolt. So this meter here is a 50 millivolt, um, 0 0.05 volt uh, for the entire range. So what I what it means is that I can display whatever I want, uh, uh, but I need to make sure that when there's a uh, 50 millivolt, the shunt that I will have will have the reading here corresponding to the uh, voltage uh, to the current that I'm carrying through uh, the uh, shunt. So in the past, I had this one which was a 300 amp uh, meter, which was exactly this one. But uh, yeah, you see 50 millivolt. So I had a different shunt than this one. And when there was 50 millivolt, I had 300 amp on the shunt and 300 amp on the meter because of this paper here okay so originally this meter was a um i think it was a something like a uh, 300 amp or not sure if it was uh, the original one but anyway i've modified it and uh what i did as i uh, just took the kind of a white aluminum sheet here i disassembled this one opened this and you see when you open it uh, normally you get something like this you see, you remove the window and there's two screw here. So you can remove these, take this kind of aluminum panel carefully to not damage the needle and you can print it or uh, I mean scan it with your scanner and um, modify it with a, any uh, kind of a uh, uh, drawing software, which uh, is exactly what I did. So I made exactly this one to the right scale and when there's 50 millivolt, it's displaying 200 amps. So I modified the uh, reading to get the reading that I want. So when I carry 200 amp, it will read 200 amp. So I will just make you kind of a demonstration here. So I have a power supply here, which is good for uh, 100 amp. 
and it's going here with this long high current extension here going here and I have one of these plugs here so when I will connect it um, the current will go from here to here or in DC I think it's the opposite anyway so um, I connect it right now okay and not easy with one end all right so it's connected now what I will do is I will power on the power supply and it's good now for 50 amp so there's 50 amp going through these conductors here and I will check with the precision meter I will just zero it right now exactly so it's right it is ready so it's in the wrong direction I will go with the other pole yeah so it's playing 51.4 because of the display of this one is not pretty accurate I'm more confident on the, the um, uh, fluke meter here so let's say 50.7 so there's 50.7 amp going through this shunt here so I will connect it here you see there's two screw and those screw correspond exactly to the location on this resistance where there is the corresponding voltage drop in millivolt so when I connect this one you see yeah so about 50 um, and the meter is not exactly 50 I will just increase it a little bit maybe it's a trade-off between the fluke <laughs> and this one but you see we're very close and if it's not giving exactly the reading you want let's say that there's uh, some uh, missing amp here it means that there's not enough voltage drop across this resistance in order to create um, uh, what is required to have the needle at the 50 indication so what I did is I used this Dremel and I've uh, just cut a little bit and uh, you do it just a small piece at a time on, uh, uh, until you get the right reading here you cannot go back or maybe add some solder to compensate and to go back to the original resistance but if you put solder it's not the same material and you might have a kind of a, what is called a thermocouple uh, effect which will uh, vary depending on the temp temperature so your shunt will be more depending on the, on the temperature when it is hot it will dif displaying different value than what it is called which is not precise so pay attention to that guys so you can just cut a little bit the right amount and uh, in order to get the right reading here so if I go to 100 amp here 99 100 very close you will see I have 101 and you see we're pretty close I could just grind it a little bit more in order to get the right voltage drop and have the meter to display the proper value so I hope you appreciate it guys and uh, the goal of this video is uh, to show you how a shunt and a analog panel meter is working and also how to modify it, modify it if it's possible in order to get uh, the right reading that you want. So you don't need necessarily to buy a new meter, you just need to change a uh, little uh, uh, display, the, uh, the drawing and the numbers on the, the scale here, and also modify the scale if you want. But you need to pay attention to the uh, millivolt. So the millivolt reading here, the same as here and the full scale so thanks for watching and i hope you appreciated this video guys and don't forget to subscribe i uh, rarely say that but uh, yeah it's helped the channel so thanks for watching and uh, have a good success in your project bye bye